students how have you been you are doing good our lesson topic for today is technological advances and opinion essay just let me talk about what essay mean it's obvious that everybody know there are three kinds of writing this may be you practice while you are just trying to discuss about different kinds of what writings let's say some issues right for example descriptive writing expository writing and that is narrative writing argumentative writing or processive writing you practice these all issues while you are practicing in the classroom at the same time at home too for example just to remind you about expository writing is a kind of writing style just to write about how just writing process different kinds of writing style to express with expository form. For example, let me give you that very simple example. How to make coffee. There is a process. Similarly, how to manipulate computers. There are procedures, steps. At the same time, you can also use what expository writing while you are writing your lab report. Maybe that is field report, the place that you have visited. When it comes to the case of the second one that is descriptive writing, I'm sure that you practiced writing what your school looks like, what your home looks like. What about your village? What about Addis, your city, the village, etc. So descriptive writing is, is always that. Everyone knows it's a kind of writing that creates image in our mind. So in such a case, we can write a short paragraph so as to describe our classroom, our school, our village, etc. When it comes to the case of what? Narrative writing is a kind of writing style just telling what? A story. Right? Therefore, we can tell or write. Narrative writing has its own forms. Based on that, we can practice what? this kind of writing style to some extent. In the case of narrative writing, writing, definitely there is a little bit descriptive form. And finally, we were practicing about paragraph writing. And paragraph writing, that is argumentative writing. Argumentative writing, or in other words, what we call it, processive writing. 
This kind of writing is, we often write so as to convince or pursue people, yes, to take our point of view, our idea, etc. So when it comes to today's activity, this is one part of writing, that is essay. What we call it? An opinion essay. An opinion essay is obviously, it belongs to the kind of essay that is an argumentative or processive essay. So what I would like to show you today is that you have to practice your writing strategies at home. I'm sure that most of you are practicing and writing different sentences and then you write different paragraphs. That's a good. We appreciate you. Writing needs practice and practice. The more you practice, the more you develop your writing skill. So, writing begins from simple to complex. Whatever it is, we are encouraging you to practice again and again. It's maybe that is your opinion. So, for this session, let me tell you that how or what are the procedures, the steps that should be kept so as to improve or promote our writing essay, that is especially an opinion essay. It's okay? The first one step for writing an opinion essay, step one, that is brainstorm ideas. Brainstorm ideas means just write some notes, some ideas which helps you to develop your paragraph. Yeah? As we know that from the context of an essay, essay is consisted of several paragraphs. Therefore, each paragraph has its own target. But all paragraphs, their conclusion becomes the same. They are talking about the same kind of issue that you have already set at the top of your topic or title. Whatever it is, your first plan has to be make notes. What are the appropriate pointers? What I need to include in my essay is a very important issue. It's okay. You plan, you put some notes, whatever the idea as it is. Writing needs what? Practice, editing, just reading ag again and again, checking everything. Then you simply put some of your ideas which help you to write your opinion essay. Second one that is, select your pointers. That means make a few good pointers in what we do expand. When you expand your essay, or that's a paragraph, it's maybe it's okay, a paragraph, you have to see the way how you are expanding it. There are strategies to extend your paragraph. So in such a case, you have to use different kinds of language practices. Right? For example, expressions may be there. Proverbs are available there. Some sayings, okay, who said by the prominent people, may be some of the ideas that to be included in the part of expansion or expanding your ideas. The other one is explaining. In what way do I explain this idea? This is another strategy. In what technique do I explain? That has to be audible, that has to be soundish for the reader. Using a very good vocabulary or terminology matters to accept whether your essay is easily readable and clear for the audiences. 
The other point is that is examples. You have to support using examples. That's why we are writing an opinion essay. Opinion essay is that your idea, your suggestion, right? So you have to support with different examples. Examples do have a power. While you are mentioning, right? While you are setting a lot of examples in your opinion essay, the audiences, okay, may accept you or fully accept your idea. That's why they are based on facts or examples. So this is another technique that you have to bear in your mind about writing an essay. In the third case, make a plan. Make a plan is very important, right? Plan in sense, copy the outlines, outlines, relevant issue. You have to avoid an irrelevant issue. What are the relevant ideas to this essay? We have to take only the relevant ideas. We support this so as to convince our audiences to accept our essay. That is a very important point. That is make a plan and says. List the main point is in supporting, you know, supporting ideas. The main idea, after you finish the first paragraph, you have to write some supporting ideas. What are the ideas which support this paragraph? In each paragraph, you should write, you should set, you should plan the way, the way, how you are convincing your audience. Supporting ideas are very important. So you have to build on this issue. The other one is think to introduce the topic and conclude, right? Yeah, that means you have to introduce what you are going to write to your audience. Your good introduction, and in the case of what? And you say, we usually say that, that's a statement, that is an introduction part, right? In the case of paragraph writing, we usually say that topic sentence, but in the case of essay, we usually say that thesis statement. So your paragraph has a power. Your essay to be readable for the rest of the audiences. If your paragraph is powerful enough, the rest of the other's paragraph may have a power to convince and to be accepted by the audiences. So you have to keep all these things in your mind. The step four is that is write your essay. Now, you start to write your essay. And then that is your first draft. First draft means the idea that you have set in the previous procedures that to be set in your essay and be sure that that is your first draft. Once you have written an essay, it does not mean that it's always correct or acceptable or good. But you have to check it again and again. That's why because writing has many what factors there. We have to check the spelling. We have to check fragments there. We have to check the subject verb agreement there. We have to check the currents of the sentence. We have to check the discourse markers. Even we have to check also the vocabularies or the terminologies. That's why writing needs practice at the same time, checking it again and again. That is your first draft means. It does not mean that the end of your work. That's why while you are practicing writing in your class, yeah, the teachers usually checks and encourages you about your writing. That's why, because writing needs practice and practice, editing and editing. What we want is that exposing the students, exposing you, the way how you are promoting your 
writing skill. So, if you like, you can write sitting at home, take any of the issue, take any of the idea, and then write it and practice it at home. And show it to anybody else, to your brother, sister, or any member of the family. And tell him to see whether your writing is, is good or not. That means, through this process, you are able to developing or promoting your writing skill. So, writing needs a lot of time, at the same time, a lot of commitment. Good. That's step five is that is check and edit your essay. That's good. We have to check and edit our essay. That means the point is that I have mentioned so far different kinds of issues to be considered here now. That is check ideas, accuracy, and the language. When it comes in the case of check ideas, how far the ideas are properly set. In other words, this issue is talking about the coherence of the ideas. How ideas are set in order to make soundish clear message to the audience. Accuracy in other words, it's a language, your word terminology, as a language is that is also matters. That means, don't mix compound sentence, you have to know here now, the compound sentences, simple sentences, compound complex sentences, etc. Don't make your sentence to be long. Right? This is another technique. And that's number six is, Ask someone able to read your essay critically. Very nice. Critically in a sense that you have to show to anybody else to check your essay, whether it is soundish or not, whether it gives meaning or not, whether it is acceptable or not. So just give to anyone else at home or anyone, anywhere, and then take feedback. So you are able to practice your writing skill. As number seven, write a neat final version of your essay. Once you have finished, you have to write everything clearly. That has to be need to. Therefore, that is your final version. That means your writing is beautiful. You are coming to the right track of practicing writing. Therefore, while you are following all these steps, obviously that your writing skill should become good for the future. Good. Now, look at this is the outline, how you are writing. This is an essay. The format what looks like to write an essay. The outline of an opinion essay. It's okay. Whatever the essay it is, it is consisted of three parts. Introduction, the main parts, and finally, that is conclusion. Introduction part, as I have said so far, we usually call it that is, in the case of an essay, that is thesis statement. So you have to design in the first paragraph, you have to narrate what you are going to intend to show to the audience. So, Convincing or persuading your idea or perspectives or point of view begins from the first introductory part of your paragraph. So, 
your introductory paragraph becomes so smart and attractive and soundish, the reader or the audience is eager to complete all the essays that has been written by the writer. So, introductory paragraph matters whether to accept your essay is good or not. When it comes in the second case, that is maybe that is second paragraph, main point is in the first paragraph, what do you want to discuss? That means the point is the ideas that you have set up in your introductory part has to be explained, expanded with different examples in this paragraph. Look at in the Roman number one, number one, number two, number three. What do they refer to? Here they refer different things. What do they refer to? The way how you are using, expanding your issue that you have set up in the first part of the introductory part. Okay, you are expanding, explaining, and then you state something and then you explain it, expand it. At the same time, just giving a lot of examples. Take, for instance, the technological advances using cell phone, for instance. Assume that using technology brings a change in a certain community. Might be your opinion is say. So, you state here now, a lot of issues here now. The technology, the cell phone is one technology. Internet is that is another technology. Okay? And if you like, you can mention some other technologies. Whereas, you have to put all these technologies in different contexts. That means, cell phone has its own way of using in the community at the same time in the community in the context of places. Same is true. Internet has its own effect. It's a part of technology, definitely. So in what way the community uses this kind of technologies? Which one is important to the community? Is that cell phone or using mobile phone or that is using internet? All these th things be considered here now. This is given as a sample example, or if you like, you can take any kind of issues. It's not necessary to be the issue of technology, or take any of the issue that you are near to write and near to convince the community. Yeah, take any of the issue. Whatever it is, you have to keep all the steps that we have mentioned so far, one up to seven, at the same time, you should keep writing your essay based on these procedures. Introduction part, the main point is. And then what comes next? Look how the paragraph an essay is consisted of. It's so now Roman number two is another paragraph. It does not mean that the coherence has to be kept here now, right? The first paragraph is just coincide with the second paragraph. The second is just coincide with the third paragraph. They are integrated to each other. There is a chain. It does not mean that they are all different paragraph. But what we mean that they are talking about a specific idea. They are all targeting about the issue of what? The thesis statement that has been mentioned at the beginning of introductory paragraph. Please, don't forget this one. There are no different ideas. There is something what makes them similar is that their root is where? The introductory statement that we have set up as the initial position of writing our essay. Roman number one, two, three. The same is true. You should do the same procedure as we have done previously in the first paragraph. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
This one is the way you are defining that you want to take part about internet maybe. And what's internet here now? What is the use of internet? Okay, in what sense do the community use internet? What about its consequence? What about its advantage or disadvantage if you like? And then if you like again, you can mention with the sample examples. So you have to keep the procedures in the way of using the language through expanding explanation or giving sample examples for each issue. The same is true in the case of what? One, two, three in the third paragraph, fourth, fifth, etc. It depends on the writers actually. There is no limited number of paragraphs that has to be kept while you are writing your essay. This is given as a sample example. An essay may be consisted of several paragraphs. It's obvious that. But you should bear in mind that each paragraph has to be based on the idea that we have stated as the initial part of thesis statement. Finally, that is conclusion. That is the final part of your essay. Conclusion. So while you are concluding your ideas, right, you have to use different kinds of expressions here now. That means, in other words, you have to summarize and try to, to put some of your ideas so as to be accepted by the audiences. And then you can complete or finish your idea here now. But in this case, you should use some of the expressions, right? Generally, to sum up my essay, in general, finally, there are some expressions. These expressions are signals for concluding your essay. And then finally, you put your point of or personal opinion, and then you give it up to the audience, and then let them give their own what? Ideas or justification or their opinions and free suggestion. And then that's all we have for today. I'm sure that at home, take any of the topic and try to practice this lesson. Try to practice writing an essay using different kinds of techniques, not only opinion essay. If you like, you can write that is descriptive essay or expository essay or any kind of essay is possible. Hopefully, based on the topic, based on the procedures, based on the steps that we have set up earlier. And then I try to show you that on the layout of writing an essay, I'm sure that you are practicing at home writing your lesson and writing this issue and detail. That's all we have for today. Till we meet next time. Goodbye, students.